So this is our vertebral column. Notice that the top vertebra are relatively small, and as we go down, these vertebra becoming significantly larger. Uh, the only thing you need to know in terms of the vertebra um, is that you need to know that you have uh, cervical vertebra, that is the seven vertebra. Then you have the thoracic vertebra, which is 12 of them total. And then lumbar vertebra, which are the lower five. And the thickest one, again, they're called lumbar vertebra. If you continue going down, you're also going to see your sacrum right here. And then the end of the sacrum is this little bone right here, which is called the coccyx. A lot of people refer to this as the tailbone. Um, if you're looking at an individual vertebra, here's an individual vertebra. Um, you have the spinous process that is pointing downward. You have the body right here. It's kind of a chubby piece of uh, bone. You have these two that are on the top. They're called superior articular process. You have these little ones that are on the sides. So if I turn it around, we can see it kind of sticking on the side right here and right here. This would be your transverse process. And again, the single one that going in the back, that's your spinous process. This region right here, where you have the closest to the body, that's called the pedicle. And this region right here and right here, that kind of forms the half circle right down here, that's the lamina. And then the big opening you see right at the center of the vertebra, that's the opening for the spinal cord, and it's called the vertebral foramen. If you look at your sternum, <clears throat> which is our next bone, so here is our sternum connected to the coastal cartilage on either side. The sternum has three pieces. You have the top part, which is the manubrium. You have the body. And the ending is the xiphoid process. When you're looking at the ribs that connects to these cartilages or the coastal cartilages, um, there are first seven ribs. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. These seven ribs actually have direct connection to your sternum using the cartilage. So there's an exclusive connection between the rib and the sternum using these cartilages. Therefore, rib one through seven are identified as true ribs. Ribs eight, nine, sorry, uh, yeah, eight, nine, and 10, which is basically connected uh, ribs that connect to these three cartilages. Notice that the cartilage is actually merging into one and then coming into the sternum. So we refer to those as false ribs. And then lastly, if you're looking at the last two ribs, which is ribs 11 and 12, notice that there is no cartilage attachment for them. So we refer to those as the floating ribs.